What's going on, guys? Uh, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I got. Uh, I got a few horror collectibles. I thought were pretty cool, so I had to get those. And I got some movies I'm going to show you guys. They're already on the shelf, so I'm going to be doing this video the hard way. Um, that's fine. Um, probably going to be two videos, because uh, I'm not. I'm just not going to be able to get up and down the stool fast enough to have it all in one video. And I, I mumble a lot. So, anyway, the first collectible I got... NECA is just, they're smart. They know they know what they're doing. Reeling us in, getting us to go after the same old kind of characters over and over throughout the years. I'm really digging their uh, ultimate horror figure line they've got going on. The Nightmare on M Street, I had to jump on that one. It's just, the packaging alone is amazing. Uh, using that original cover art, I mean, uh, excuse me, poster art, is genius. It's sexy. It's awesome. Uh, I had to go for a leather face. And they did a good job with this new leather face. It is amazing. So, they got me. Hook, line, and sinker. I had to get me one. Uh, yeah, NECA knows what they're doing. So, I'm not. I'm never really a fan of their retro stuff, but uh, I don't know. Give me something that sort of resembles a statue a solid um just a solid figurine i'm up for it so amazing so for now i got this one displayed by the leather face mask i have and it looks good uh highly recommend it if you haven't grabbed you one definitely go for it um uh, you got it i'm looking forward to uh the the friday 13th jason lives figure i think that's going to be sweet um it can't come out soon enough so i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna go after that one as well oh excuse me I have that gotta have a cup of joe uh especially if you've slept like crap the past few days uh next up is nostalgia heavy uh some full moon goodness uh Thank you for finally putting out a Jack Attack replica um, demonic toys goodness here. So I've always wanted a Jack Attack, so I was excited to find out that they were putting putting these, uh, making these, and gonna release them. So I had to get me one. Love Jack Attack. It's probably like my, my favorite um, killer toy out of the bunch. Close second would be um, the stuffed bear, but I can't remember the the evil looking bear's name um i like that one too but um in a perfect world uh they'd make all of them it'd be cool to have all of the the main demonic toy toys together that'd be awesome so but anyway um uh, jack attack that's awesome i had to get a jack attack the box that comes in is really cool it's a nice box real thick cardboard professionally made got some cool art on it uh, original poster art Definitely going to keep the box. Jack Attack. Um, some other figurines that they're selling. So, really cool. So, just a few collectibles. Uh, and that is it as far as collectibles this month. Um, Alright, I'm going to show you guys the movies I got in. Um, Gonna do it the hard way, step stool. So I'm trying not to get you guys too dizzy. So here we go. Um, all right, I just didn't feel like taking them off the shelf. I've already, already have them in here. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it the hard way. What the hell? Um, first up is we'll start in numbers, or at least we'll try to. I'm sort of reaching already. Um, I got the MGM four movies. Uh, no oh, crap is falling already oh well let me show you this one <laughs> the mgm i got this one mainly for um i already have the other three um either on better dvd edition or uh, well the vampire lovers is already on blu-ray anyway i got this mainly for the bat people i didn't have the bat people so uh, it was cheap so i went after this so that is that i'll put that back in and the next one is the one that fell so let me get let me get that one real quick because i think that's one that's 
part of the what I got this month. Yeah, it is. I got um it's a 10 movie collection, Attack of the Killer Bees. There's a few of these movies I didn't have. Um I don't think you can really read that, but the ones I didn't have was uh The Phantom from 10,000 Leagues. Uh let's see. Most of these uh, 5 out of 10 of these I already have, but and then another one I didn't have, Teenagers from Outer Space. Invasion of the Bee Girls, Night Fright, um, from 1968. Looks terrible. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, from 1962. And the rest of them I have. Um, comes with Attack of the Giant Leeches, The Brain That Wouldn't Die, Wasp Woman, I already have all those. But, um, yeah, I got this just because there's a few I didn't have. Um, I, I don't mind going after these until like a better edition comes along um i just i don't like to go after the 50 movie packs or the 100 movie packs i just never like going after those so that's why it's taking me forever to get to get these movies even though i could have paid like nine dollars just to get a 50 movie pack a long time ago but i just can't do that anyway it's a decent set got it really you know a reasonable price uh, next is, um, still in the numbers, I got the 12 movie pack, it's, uh, be the best of the worst, and most of these I already have, but again, there's some I don't have, I've never had until now, which is the Ape Man, a really bad, uh, Bela Lugosi flick, um, Unknown World, which I've never heard of, I, I didn't have that, the Atomic Brain, which I don't think I have, no, I know I don't have that one. But I mainly got it for the Amazing Transparent Man. So, the rest of them, I either have them. Um, Blu-ray, which the only one on Blu-ray is uh, Dementia 13. Or better, you know. And I think Shout put a few of these out. So, some of these I already have. But, three bucks. So, I, I got it for three bucks. Um, it, it goes good next to, like... Um, these editions go good next to other um, 12 movie packs. Uh, and then if I can reach an awesome movie that I just saw for the first time. Finally got some Charles Bronson in the horror collection. And I can comfortably put in a movie like this with my horror collection. You know, he's tracking down a serial killer. A uh, very disturbed guy who kills in the buff. Like he runs around naked and kills. It's crazy. But this is a fun movie. 10 to Midnight. It's awesome. Um, highly recommended. I just saw this for the first time. And, um, like, the beginning of the movie sort of reminds me of, um, the killer in uh, American Psycho. I was like, holy crap. You yeah, know, so, a little bit. It, it kind of a little. How he carries himself, how the killer carries himself reminds me of, uh, American Psycho a little bit. Next is another one I'm finally glad to get, and that is Angst, um, 1983. So and this was a good movie. Um, I'd always read about it, but it's just one of those movies that's hard to get a hold of. So glad to finally get uh, to add Angst into my serial killer collection, which I don't have too many serial killer movies because a lot of them aren't really that good. Um, this one's great. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was definitely one of those movies I had to watch uh, late at night. But um, one really, really, really disturbing scene for me is where he's chasing after that girl in this tunnel. Like, I don't know, it's a part of the house. It's weird. I don't know what they call it. But this tunnel, that, that was a very disturbing scene. Um, there's definitely some unintentional laughs that came from me when I was watching this. But it's a really well done movie, though. Um how certain scenes were shot when he's like running through the forest. I thought that was really good. How they achieved that. And such a low budget. Um, okay, what's next? Backcountry, I have yet to watch. Um, sort of a mixed bag from what I've read. Uh, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. Backcountry, I've been in like a really, in like a killer bear flick lately, so... Hopefully it doesn't disappoint, uh, disappoint and I get entertained. Um, I think with this one, at least I can hope for some good atmosphere. 
and some good well shot scenery and stuff you know with the forest and everything so back country just haven't had a chance to watch that one yet uh next is another f looks like to be good fun i haven't watched this one yet either um battle of the damned it just attracted me it's got robots and zombies and it just looks it looks really over the top campy low budget stuff so battle of the damned it looks like a lot of fun okay um make sure i'm not skipping anything nope next is um going a little out of order but that's okay my oc my ocd will be i'll be okay um black death I think I've been living under a rock because this movie amazed me. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome movie, Black Death. I just saw this for the first time a couple weeks ago. A chilling piece of gothic horror. Yeah, that's true. This is, this is a damn good uh, witch movie. I would categorize it as a, a witch movie. Um, the guys hunting down a, a necromancer. Uh, brutal, uh, bleak. Um, I loved it. I'm probably the last person on earth to finally get around to watching Black Death, but, um, great, great, great movie. I love Black Death. Uh, definitely one of the highlights for me, uh, this month. Um, so Black Death, if I can get that in there. That's what she said. No, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, moving on. Getting you guys dizzy. Okay. Okay, on to the bees. Um, I like collecting my shockumentaries, so I had to go for the, okay, first up is the band from television. Uh, these are okay. They're, they're done pretty well. Um, a lot of it you've probably already seen before if you're into these. Uh, band from television, uh, volume one through three and I have these backwards I don't know how that happened but anyway volume one through three and then I got the band oh excuse me this is band from television volume one through three and then next I got the um, band from band in America volumes one through six uh, the f I watched the first three again late night viewing I watched the first three and um, these are okay. Uh, my only complaint is the the bad music score in these movies. It's like this. It reminds me of this terrible early or mid '90s terrible techno music. Um, it's not constantly throughout, but it's enough to sort of get you thinking about it and kind of annoy you, annoy you a bit. Um, I like collecting shockumentaries. I know you can easily go to Live Leak or Best Gore and all these other little reality sites and just, you know, catch all this stuff for free. But uh, I don't think they're making shockumentaries anymore. I really don't, unless it's like a... a mm, what comes to mind is Masker Video. I know they put out a, a, uh, a Mondo m movie recently, but... For the most part, I don't. I don't think they're doing. I don't think shockumentaries are being made on DVD anymore. I think that's a dying thing. So I do like collecting them, and uh, every now and then uh, giving one a spin. Uh, so that's Band in America, Volume One through Six. Um, these are easy to get. Um, they come shipped. You can buy these um, shipped all at once. So. Um, unlike the mini taboos of death series that I collected, these aren't a pain in the ass to find and order. Okay, next is a uh, Call Girl of Cthulhu. Um, great special effects, uh, awesome, fun, low budget movie that I really liked. So, Call Girl of Cthulhu, uh, just over the top in some scenes, uh, put out by Camp Motion Pictures. I liked it. So, Call Girl of Cthulhu. Um, uh, 
Had to go for it. It's, I, I do like the new cover art. Um, I don't know why, out of all the ones that were re-released re recently, I don't know why this is like the only one that, that's actually um, a sleeve and not like the annoying cardboard faceplates that they stick onto these re-releases. But had to go for it. I love the new cover art. Child's Play is classic, so... Didn't really need to buy it, but I I had to, I had to. I was there as at Walmart. Very rarely am I at Walmart. I was at Walmart. I saw it there. Six bucks. I snatched it up. Whatever. No big whoop. Yeah, it's gotta be two videos. Um. So next, trying not to get you guys dizzy. Um, is. Full Moon. Haven't seen this in years. Uh, Dr. Mordred. Um, some Jeffrey Combs goodness. So, looking forward to uh, watching it again. I remember like a stop motion T Rex skeleton scene. That was pretty cool. And that's about it. I really don't remember too much. I, I just remember like it's like a good wizard versus a bad wizard. Um, but I got that in. And then this will be a first time watch for me. Uh, this is probably one of the few movies I haven't watched from this director. Um, Dress to Kill. Um, looks to be pretty cool. So can't wait to check it out. Um, I've never seen it before. So Dress to Kill. And then that is it from up there. So that's great. And then guys, I'm sort of running out of time, so thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I what I've showed you so far. And then um, be sure to check out the next video as always. Uh, take it easy, keep collecting, and later.